All right, welcome to another Lilac Writer how-to video. This one is about using Studio One for a full multi-track recording project. Actually, I wanted to just see how Studio One would hold up in a situation with a full multi-track recording. So I didn't record this with Studio One. I imported all of the WAV files from another project into Studio One, and we're gonna go and try to organize the mix and see how Studio One holds up. My feeling was that Studio One was lacking some features that you'd find in Pro Tools, Cubase, and some of the other programs to really organize a full multi-track project. So I went out to test this theory and find that it's actually a little bit better than I thought. And so we'll go over that um, now as we uh, try to go through the project. So I've got the main arrange uh, window open. I've got 25 tracks here of uh, a song that has a full multi-track drums. Um, lead vocals, background vocals, several instrument tracks. When you have this view, I can't see all the tracks. You can easily see all the tracks if you go to this tiny view or maybe even the small view, and there's a little shortcut um, menu down here at the bottom to get all these up on the screen. Now, I use this view after I imported it to rearrange these tracks into a common track order. I've muted a few of the tracks, like this is a full mix of the song and the click track I've muted. And we're gonna start with the drum tracks here and set up the subs, uh, basically a drum sub mix. So this works uh, interactively with the mixer. Now in Pro Tools, we, we could create an edit group and a mix group. As far as I can tell, there's only a, a single kind of group which kind of works as a, as a combined mix and edit group. And you do that with Command G. So I'll just do that and now I've set that up. You can also um, right click on, on any of these selected tracks and do group selected tracks with Control G, that would be on the PC, or Command G on the Mac, and we can undo that here. Then if I go to the mixer, which I can do from this button, we'll pull up the mixer, and I'm going to go to the smaller version of the mixer because I don't really need to see the sends. And you'll see that all of those tracks are selected. So now um, on the mixer as well, so now if I click on another um, track, you'll see that when I come back to any of the drums, I grab them as a group. And then if I go to edit them, they all move uh, proportionally to each other. And then the override for this in Studio One is the Option key. I can mix drums within this. I can also solo out the whole drum part. And now as I'm working on my drum mix, I just hold Option to um, control the individual drums. Now one of the things that you very likely would want to do here is create the drum sub to apply effects or to just have overall control of just the drums. And you can easily do that um, with just a right click on any of these tracks. And it says add bus for selected tracks. So let's just do that. And there it is. I'm going to rename this to drum sub. So it's really quick to get the basic subgroup set up. So if I want to just move along here, I've got left and right organ. I've already panned that left and right. To null any of the faders or to just set them to the default, you hold on command and and click and it sets them to um, to the kind of the default setting. So then I'm going to click uh, one and then the other and then I'm going to use command G and I've grouped these two. And if you ever see this, this is additional information about the track just to the left. And this little arrow will collapse that up. So in this short version of the mixer where we don't have much um, height on the screen, you can still pull up the details 
for the inserts. The other alternative with that is to go over here and hit the large mixer and you'll see those things on the top. You can see I can slide along this mixer with 25 tracks. It doesn't completely fit on the screen, even though I've got quite a large screen here. Um, then we've got uh, several, we've got two acoustic guitars. Command G for that. Now I've got that going. Um, rhythm guitar. We've got this guitar solo and rhythm. Um, for this, I'll, uh, I'll group those. We've got high and low background vocals along with the lead vocal. But I think I will do a bus on that. Box sub. And then to move it around, I can just drag it over here. If you have a large mixer, there is a keyboard, direct keyboard shortcut. If you, this is the left and right square brackets will uh, flip along and move along the keyboard. And you can see anytime you hit one of these groups, it automatically selects it by the group. All right, you can create scenes, or I think they're called snapshots in here. And basically, you can hide any of the channels here by just clicking in this uh, pane over here. So any of them that you select won't see them on that mixer. So what I did is I went in here and um, turned off all the drums. And here's the room. But leave the drum sub on. And so now I've got my drum sub and then all the other channels. That's kind of a nice view. So we'll go in here and we'll call this Hide Drums. So I previously set up one called Drums Only, but now uh, down in this little shortcut menu, I've got a, a hidden drums version. One of the things I like to do is set track colors for drums. I'll rewind with the comic. All right. Organ was way out of control there. So that's how you set the track colors. And then I will also go in here and set, um, you know, some of these other things um, will set the track colors. All the guitars will get a color. You just basically click on this tab here and then you can set these things up to um, uh, colors so you can pick out the different instruments. So that's it. Very very easy actually to get the basic setup. Now, one of the things that's been uh, criticized about Studio One is there's no track folders. And so there's kind of a workaround for that. Once you've got these things grouped together, anytime you do a drag move, the track heights uh, within that group will move together. So you can kind of scrunch up these different things that are together. So if you're not working on, um, say, you know, like the organ here. You just click on one of the organs and then then you can collapse that up. So it's not tr a true, um, you don't have the ability to hide tracks like you would in Pro Tools or use track folders like you would in Cubase. And it would be nice to be able to see that. Sonar also offers a track folders feature. So that's an overview of some of the things you need to do to get around in a full multi-track project in Studio One. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.